hello everyone today we are going to do our next poem the name of the poem is govinda's disciple dear students as you know by the name the name of the poem is govinda's disciple govinda who is govinda in this poem govinda is guru gobind singh and it is about a disciple of guru gobind singh and the name of this disciple is raguna this poem is written by rabindranath tagore this poem is written by rabindranath tagore who was rabindranath tagore who wrote the national anthem rabindranath tagore yes the writer of national anthem is rabindranath tagore so this is the poem written by rabindranath tagore so let's read here i have written some key words some difficult words of the poem with their meanings we will discuss them later so i am reading the poem first far below flowed the ganga quick and clear above from the jetting bank guru gobind singh govinda is sitting near ganga and it is very beautiful imagination here in this poem that govinda is sitting and river ganga is flowing river ganga is flowing very quickly and very brightly and above from the jutting bank and the bank of the ganga is jutted with rocks and it is jutted with rocks it is looking loud like as it is frown it is annoyed you know what is the meaning of jetted something that is extending coming out so the bank of river ganga is jetted with rocks and as it is jetted with rocks it is looking like as it is annoyed so guru gobind singh govinda is sitting at a very calm place where river ganga is flowing without any uh, ganga is flowing and the bank Uh, the bank of the ganga is jetted with rocks looking like an oil hills dark with the woods and scarred with the torrents were gathered around hills dark with the woods there are hills around river ganga and they are dark with woods woods means forest you you might have seen many trees on forest and on mountains so here also on mountains there are many trees and due to the shade of that trees the mountains they are looking dark so the hills the hills are looking dark hills dark with the woods and scarred scarred means has scar have a mark and scarred with the torrents torrent means the flow of water scarred with the torrents were gathered around and the here the poet is talking about the the mountains the hills that are around river ganga they are dark with the woods and there are scars there are marks on the hills due to the flow of water so in this first two lines the poet shown us a very beautiful imagination where guru gobind singh is sitting and in this poem the poet is telling us that the material materialistic world is not good but the world that is spiritual here guru gobind singh is teaching his disciple that in place of materialistic world spiritual world is good for us so see the next lines Govinda the great teacher here Govinda is a great teacher who is teaching to his disciple Govinda the great teacher sat on the rock reading scriptures Govinda is sitting on a rock and reading scriptures what is the meaning of scriptures see as i had written here first from from the this word came in first two line what is the meaning of from annoyed or sad 
or buried. We can say empty. Next is jutting. Jutting means extending. As I told you in the first two lines. Jutting means extending. Now scarred. Scarred. Scarred means have mark. Mark with a scar. Now see next. The word comes scriptures. What are scriptures? The sacred writings. The sacred writings. As what are other scriptures? The sacred writings as our Gita, Ramayana, Mahabharata. These are also scriptures. These are sacred writings. So what is the meaning of scriptures? Sacred writings. So Guru Gobind Singh is sitting on a stone, very on a very calm place and reading scriptures. When Raghunath, his disciple, proud of his wealth, came and bowed to him and said, I have bought my poor wealth unworthy of thy acceptance. When Raghunath, his disciple, as Guru Govind Singh Govinda is sitting, at the same time his disciple Raghunath came and he had some wealth, some gold with him. And he wanted to give that gold to Govinda to please him. He knew it that Guru Govind Singh would not accept that wealth. But he thought that he would after some time as he would give him after some time he would accept it. But that was not true. I and Raghunath, his disciple, proud of his wealth. Raghunath was very much proud of his wealth, that I had so much wealth. Came, he came to the uh, teacher, Guru Govind Singh, and bowed him, respected him, greeted him, and said, what he said? I have bought my poor wealth. He said that I bought my poor wealth for you. Poor wealth means I have, he was thinking that he had wealth. But at that time, he was showing that this is my poor wealth, very less against his knowledge. I have bought my poor wealth unworthy of thy acceptance. Unworthy means I know that it is not uh, for you, but I want to give it to you. I want to present you this work, this wealth. Okay. So today we are going to do this first stanza only. I hope you have understanding, understood it well. So for tomorrow we are going to do the rest of the poem. Read it properly. Thank you.